internal conductivity of metal rod and inside this we are having a specimen and the specimen is made up of aluminium rod and on this surface of the aluminium rod we are having the four thermocouples that is 1, 2, 3, 4 on the surface of aluminium rod and T5 is water inlet and T6 is water outlet. What you have to do is first this is where the heat is associated inside this we are having the coil and on this surface we are having four thermocouples and here is what the inlet temperature of water and outlet temperature of water. When you start supplying the heat this end what happens is the metal rod gets heated up and transfer the heat from this end to this end. And after the study state at least we are going to fix a known amount of heat for this uh, metal rod so that, that after the study state means temperature will not vary with respect to time. That is the first condition means the temperature should be steady state condition and always the heat transfer takes place from the axial direction. While taking the reading, what you have to do is we have to know T1, T2, T3, T4, T5, and T6. And after knowing down all the four temperatures, we should check for steady state conditions. Means for every five minutes or ten minutes, we should take the readings of all the things and check for steady state. If the steady state condition is there, we just stop this. Afterwards, our our aim is to find out K. And we should fix the water flow rate to say around 0.5 or 1 liters per minute so that there is a mass flow rate of water and you can easily find out k by using your four wheel of heat conduction that is k is equal to q by a into dt by dx a will be the area of surface or area of the rod and dt by dx you should get it from the, the graph that is we are having four temperatures and we are having four thermocouples the length of this aluminium rod is I think 160 millimeter so on this we are having four thermocouples at a distance of each 40 mm we have one thermocouple so you are plotting graph of temperature versus distance and you get dt by dx that dt by dx you put it in the equation that is for that k is equal to minus q by a into dt by dx area will be known q will be known q is nothing but what mcp delta t mcp is nothing but mass flow rate of water specific heat of water into outlet temperature of water and inlet temperature of water we will get q we will get gradient, we will be knowing area and that we will get Q.